All right, we're ready for part two. We're talking about social media on this one. I used to have this um, tarnished opinion of social media. I would be like, social media is the worst thing ever. I swear it just opens up for people to cheat. If it wouldn't be for social media, all these people wouldn't be cheating or talking to other women or talking to other men or causing hurt feelings over stuff that they do. Honey, if, he's, if he wants to cheat, he's going to cheat. I learned that. It don't matter if they have social media or not. People was cheating way back in the day. Social media has nothing to do with it. Now, it might make it easier. And there are things about social media that's horrible for a relationship. But what it all boils down to, if he wanted to, he would. And that's the God's honest truth. If he wants to be a good man, he's going to be a good man. If she wants to be a good woman, then she's going to be a good woman. With or without social media. Now, i done some research on this. I collected some research on this before I spoke on this. One thing in a relationship that I don't like, it bothers me. It didn't in the beginning. It didn't in the older relationship, should I say, is whoever I'm with liking other girls' pictures or commenting on their pictures. To me, I felt like it was um, disrespectful. It hurt my feelings after I had been hurt a few times. And when I would try to talk to them or simply explain, or okay, it's embarrassing. Number one, it's embarrassing. When you're going down your newsfeed and the person, the object of your affection, every picture is a selfie of a girl. And you, y'all load it up. Y'all want to take selfies? I don't care. Do it. I don't care. You be you. You're not asking for attention. But when you post them 15 in one day, you're seeking something. I don't know what you're seeking, but why are you doing that? Because I've been an FBI investigator before. A Facebook FBI. And I've investigated a lot of women on there. And some of you all, you just need to stop it. One a day is plenty. You know what? Do what you want. It's your social media. I don't give a kitty. Okay. Anyway, you're looking at them pictures. And it's so-and-so and so many other people like this photo. And you're like, what the shit is going on here? You're like, I don't want to have this awkward conversation, but it's bothering me. And you know what? If I think it, I'm going to say it. That's me as a person. I got to talk about everything. Shocker there. I do. I want to talk about things. When something's bothering me, I want resolution. And most of the time, I just want you to grab me and hug me and say it's fine. And stop doing what's bothering me if you really care about me. But I don't get, I've never had that happen. I've never, I've never been blessed with that kind of partner. <laughs> I usually get gaslighted. Like, you're just trying to start shit. No, I'm not. I don't say it. The last hour you've been sitting over there ignoring me, not paying any attention to me, but you've liked all these girls' photos on social media. I'm not trying to start shit. That second is when they need to throw their phone down, climb over there, grab you, give you a hug, kiss, whatever, and make you feel like, I'm sorry that I did that. I'm sorry that it upset you. And I've said before, you know, I just need some reassurance. I just need some reassurance here. What I get gaslighted. So I, I never got the adult conversation that I was seeking. And I hate in the beginning of a relationship when they say, are you the jealous type? I'll tell you right now, damn straight. Green as a Granny Smith apple, if you give me a reason to be. But I'll never fight over a man, I'll tell you that right now. Somebody else walks up into the into his life, or I find out he's entertaining other women. You know what? I don't do, con I'm not a competitive person. I don't even like playing the board game Monopoly, okay? I hate when it snows in West Virginia and everybody's like, let's play spades. I'm like, F my life. I'm not a competitive person. I don't want to play cards. I don't want to do a foot race. And I sure as shit don't want to compete for a man. I'll walk away. Now it's going to kill me. It's going to hurt. And I might let you lie your way back in a couple times, but about 250 times. But in the end, I'm going to eventually walk away. I'm getting better at it. I'll tell you that right now. I'm getting better at it. My recent bout with stuff, getting better at it. It still took me a few days. It still took me. It was like a five-day detachment. But you know what? I got it done, so I know there's growth coming my way. I know we're there. I know we're getting there. But So I asked this friend of mine, a guy friend of mine. I said, hey, so-and-so, do you like other girls? You're in a relationship. Do you like other girls' pictures on social media? And he was like, eh, no, not really. I said, but if you did, would it upset your girlfriend? And he was like, she's secure. 
But what if she wasn't? He said, well, only an insecure woman would be upset over that. I don't agree with that. Maybe some people see it that way, but I told him up right then. I said, I don't agree with that. I said, when you have a woman that has been through some shit and she's damaged and she's still like holding on to hope, trying to make things work, and she comes to you and says, hey, this is this bothers me. I need some reassurance here. If you can't talk to her like a man, like an adult, and you all talk that out, because you know what? If I'm interested in a guy and he comes up to me and says, I saw you liked a guy's picture on Facebook, I want to be like, yeah, I went to high school with him. Or he's my cousin. Or, yeah, he just went through a bad divorce. I'm just trying to lift him up a little bit. But if that bothers you, I won't do it. I've never, do, I don't do that. But I'm just saying, I won't do that. I won't, if, if that bothers you, I won't do that. And there you go. It's that simple. But no, y'all want to buck up. Y'all want to buck up like a rodeo bull and act like we're trying to take your independence away. Well, mother effer, if you wanted independence, why are you in a relationship? Why are you messaging girls? Why are you liking girls' pictures? Why? Because you a hoe. You a hoe. You a man hoe. Anyway, a girl, I speak, I'm a woman, so I'm speaking this on my perspective. Men go through the same stuff. I know they do. I have some girlfriends. Boy, they they bad. They horrible. Oh, Lord. I'm just like, girl, I love you. But damn. Anyway. Um, and the other thing. Okay, so here's my story. I was dating this guy once, okay? And I told him. I said, when you like a girl's picture, I said, in this day and time, girls take it like, he's watching me. He's interested in me. If you're liking every selfie they post, if they post 15 selfies that day and you've liked every one of them, they know you're going to be messaging. That's just the way it works. That's just the way it is. Argue with me. I don't care. I That is my experience with it and probably a lot of other women, okay? So I tell this guy, I said, I guarantee you, I said, I could get on my Facebook right now, my social media, TikTok, Instagram, whatever your social media thing is. I'm speaking of Facebook. I said, and like a guy's picture, a single guy's picture that posts a selfie or whatnot, and I guarantee he'll message me. I said, I would be willing to put money on it. He said, you're delusional. Oh, call me delusional one more time. Oh, call me delusional one more time. I can be a little delulu, but I wasn't at this moment. So I pull up my Facebook news feed. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Some guy changed his profile picture. Click. I liked it. Two minutes later, he sends, hey, pretty girl. I just showed him my phone. I said, we going to still argue about this? Are you, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? And he said, I'm sorry. He said, I'll do better. He said, now that I know it bothers you like that, he's like, you're on the verge of crying. I see that you care. I smacked, you know what? Why did I hit my thumb like that? I got carried away speaking the gospel of the dating life. Um, he said, I'll do better. I said, thank you. That's all. Thank you. One hour later. News, me on the Facebook news feed sitting there, kick back, scrolling. There it is again. And I thought, well, maybe this was an old like. She just posted the picture like eight minutes ago. I just look, I kept looking at him. She kept staring at him. I want you to feel my laser eyes burning a hole through your skin right now. I want you to. I want you to. Just a little example of some of the stuff that I've dealt with, put up with. But social media, it, it can be a real trap for relationships. But you know what? If he's gonna cheat, he's gonna cheat. He'll 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 cheat with somebody at the gas station. He'll cheat with somebody at the Dollar General. He'll cheat with somebody, God forbid, at church, because it happens all the time. And I'm not bad mouthing churches. I'm just saying there's been more than one case of that going on. You get a man and a woman together and they spending too much time with each other, and one of them's got a wonder an eye whether they got social media or not. And they're going to cheat. And the whole I have a private life thing, like I was talking about last time, if you have a social media that a profile is public and you're posting selfies that are public and you're friends with over a thousand people, you don't have a private life. If you have a social media account that is private, that you do have friends that you trust, you do not have a private life. Because you know what? If I was trying to creep on a girl, I guarantee you, I could look at her mutual friends and I could see a person on there that probably would be more faithful to me than they are their, her because they don't even know who she is. They know who I am. I'm going to message him up on a social media. i am be like, hey, who is Patty Roach? Who Patty Roach? You know Patty Roach? Call me. Let's talk about Patty Roach. And she's going to be like, girl, let me tell you about Patty Roach. 
and you had a private profile. Oh, I wiggled my way right in there. So if you have social media, you do not live a private life. I just wanted to put that out there. So, and the, the other thing about social media is I don't like to put anything personal on there. <laughs> what you post in half naked pictures of yourself on there? But you don't like to put anything personal on there? Seems pretty personal to me. Just saying what's on my mind. I'd take a breaker. Get me a Dr. P. If any of that applies to you, I'm going to save you some trouble and some anguish and some tears. It's better to just cry it out, scream it out, let it hurt, let it heal than to drag it on, beg them to be a different person, and they straighten up for a day or so, maybe just a couple hours, maybe just 20 minutes. I don't know. I've done it. I've seen it all. <laughs> and then you have to keep repeating that cycle, putting yourself through all that aggravation and anguish, only to, in the end, end up without them. If he wanted to, he would. If he was a good man, and he cared about you, and he loved you the way he should be loving you, you wouldn't even have to have any of those conversations to begin with. I feel like I should hack or say hallelujah. <laughs> okay. Good night. Goodbye.